Vandalism, political smurs, and verbal altercations are on the rise across America. But it's not over what you think. Get off this court! Go! Get out of here! I don't play pickleball! This is a tennis player, and this is a pickleball player. And the argument is not unique. In fact, it's been waged across the country in a winner-take-all war for the future of recreational sports. For decades, tennis courts have littered retirement communities and country clubs, but the sports growth has been flatlined in America. This is largely due to the insanely high barrier to entry. It's expensive, difficult to play, and not fun when you're just starting. But Pickleball is positioning itself as the exact opposite. Cheap to start and easy to pick up. This is rubbing the tennis community the wrong way and they're not going down without a fight. One park in Santa Rosa, CA, saw its pickleball courts vandalized with six quarts of oil and a note threatening to key the car of any pickleball player that came back to play. Another group in New York called the rise of pickleball a capitalist-backed parasite on the public space. But what's really happening is something much deeper. For decades, tennis has been an insular sport that hasn't had to share this, its space or attention. But it got stale and a new and more innovative competitor came to the table. Now tennis has to level with the fact that it needs to adapt or die. And regardless of what it decides to do, it's clear it's currently backed into a corner because 